everyone's life is a story, so I'll be telling you a piece of mine. Obviously, I don't have too much time, so I'll be telling you a little bit of the back half of mine. I attended South Day Senior High School. I graduated in 2004. If any one of you wanted to do math, that means I'm 31. <laughs> I, uh, hopefully, I look, long, I, I look younger than I actually am, hopefully. Um, when I actually attended, I did the very stubborn thing. I went against my parents' wishes. I had played baseball my whole life, and my dad was like, what are you doing? You're going to be awesome. You have to play baseball. And I decided to play football. And if anybody wants to take a random guess, football, probably not the best sport to play for somebody that's all of 5'6", and at that time weighed maybe about 138 pounds, give or take. And I also decided to wrestle. I did a great job wrestling. I was lucky enough to um, receive a few scholarship offers. Played pretty good at football. I started for three years, but then my senior year actually got hurt. And everything that my father said would happen ended up coming to fruition. I lost my scholarships. I fell in a little bit of a state of depression. I remember at one point, I'll never forget, I was sitting in my room. My mother asked me, uh, so what are you going to do with your life? Mind you, I had maybe been hurt for all of about three weeks. I had just found out that I wasn't going to go to Syracuse to wrestle. I had uh, Ithaca, none of these great schools that offered me wrestling scholarships. I was like, well, Mom, uh, I don't know. She said, OK, are you depressed? A little bit. She's like, well, that's fine and dandy, but you need to get a job and go to school, because in my house, I don't believe in depression. Said, well, that's a little rough, but thanks. I said, I, I don't even know where I'm going to work. She's like, don't worry. I already got you a line job, uh, job lined up at Winn-Dixie. You're going to go stock milk. I'm also lactose intolerant, for anyone that's wondering, <laughs> which made it that much better. My mom, sweet lady. Uh, I was lucky enough to get a good enough SAT score. I actually attended this fine institution. I attended FIU from 2004 to 2008. My time here was probably some of the best times I've had in my life. I recommend all of you enjoy it to the fullest. I was an SGA for a little bit. I also played in fraternity, which I'm not doing so hot these days in fraternity life. <laughs> but uh, I was uh, on the e-board of my fraternity. I enjoyed life to the fullest. No one really notices how great college is until you're out of it, and you actually have to pay bills and work and do the horrible things that comes with life. Um, I married my husband, my college in New York. We met during the fraternity days. Most people don't think that that would be where you marry, where you find it, you get together. But I ended up doing so. I was actually a criminal justice and psychology major. I graduated with a dual major, doing absolutely nothing that has to do with it. For a little bit, I worked for the Department of Children and Families. Very rough to do, very emotionally stressful. You see things there that probably no one should see. Um, I worked there for about two and a half years. After that, I was lucky enough that one of my fraternity brothers, you hear all the time, oh, it's for life. And you think, why are you school? You're like, yeah, it's for life, sure. I'm paying for friends. <laughs> but it ended up being true. He actually called me up and was like, hey, we're looking for somebody here at AT&T. Why don't you come on down? I'm like, man, what am I going to do? I'm sell cell phones? I don't know. You know, I'm a psychology major, and I'm dealing with caseworking. What am I going to do over there? Just come on down. You'd be perfect for it. Sure enough, I went over there. I started off at a store, hated my life, pushing cell phones. I'm probably one of the people that, if you're in a horrible cell phone plant, it was probably me, because I had no clue what I was doing half the time. I ended up moving up the ranks. I ended up in the training department. I became a director over there. And then finally, I was like, man, I'm ready to go. People are getting cut left and right. Unfortunately, part of the corporate world. Enjoy, again, enjoy college as long as possible. <laughs> I ended up transferring over to Canon. Anybody that knows that doesn't know, Canon is a worldwide manufacturer of cameras, printers, lenses, things of that nature. Now I'm director of South Florida for Canon in their training department. Amazing job, guys. I get to travel all over the United States, training people, doing events, just talking to people. That's really all I do about great products. Uh, just this year, I was lucky enough to attend CES. I say lucky enough, but it was extremely taxing. They tell you, oh yeah, it's great, work it, you're gonna love it. You're in Vegas. We're putting you up in the Bellagio. What they don't tell you is it's 12 hours on your feet all day. 
and you get asked the same questions over and over. <laughs> also, which is the best printer? Which is the best camera? Well, what are you doing? Uh, just which one's the best? And that's pretty much what you get asked all day. And it is to the point where you really just lose your mind because you have Sony next to you with a robot dog and you're standing next to a printer. <laughs> so it's, you know, give and take there. But I love it. I'm actually, I was talking to Carlos about it. I am going to, at Capitan Canyon in California, again, part of corporate world, I went from staying at the Bellagio to now I'm doing glorified camping. They're putting me in a yurt. For those who don't know what a yurt is, it is a structure that just has cloth for walls. And from what I've been told, I have to use a wash house outside. I don't even know what that is. So should be fun. But I've enjoyed every moment that I have had here. Unfortunately, I travel a lot, so I don't always get to be here. But I'm enjoying the experience, and hopefully I get to spend much more time with you guys. Thank you very much.